morning and welcome to JNS News. Hello, I am Joni and this is Nia. We are here to talk about the death of our own Paul Eerdos. I am sad to announce that Mr. Eerdos has passed er away early this morning at the age of 83. He is the man who truly loved numbers. Paul Eerdos was a Hungarian mathematician that traveled the world. He was born in Budapest on March 26, 1913 to a family of parents of mathematicians. He wrote and published multiple mathematical papers, and as a tribute to him, his friends created the Eerdos number. Now we're going to send you over to Shelby, who is in Hungary, outside the cathedral where Paul's funeral is being held. Hi, I'm here today at Cathedral, where some of Mr. Eerdos' friends, colleagues, and scholars are gathering to remember his life. Today we are going to hear from two of his closest friends, and they are going to share with us on how he impacted our world. They are Melvin Hendrickson and Bea Boldus. First, we'll hear from Mel Melvin Hendrickson. Hello, I'm Melvin. It's hard to lose a good friend of yours for over 40 years. We met on his 40th, 40th birthday at Purdue. What were you doing at Purdue when you met Paul? I just started my first year instructing at Purdue and many of our colleagues were his friends. What was your favorite memory of Paul? Oh, where do I begin? It was my third time meeting him, and we were at the University of Notre Dame for a conference when he told us this story, claiming he was two billion years old. The whole room laughed, and all I remember is being confused. Then he explained that when he was in high school, he was taught that the Earth was two and a half billion years old, but now we know that it is four and a half billion years old. Still sitting there puzzled, I put together that he was juxtaposing the time in which he had begun learning to what has been discovered now. Wow, I could only imagine what it's like being in a room with him. Yeah, he was an amazing guy, and it was a great experience getting to know one of the greatest mathematicians of all time. Do you have any last words you would like to say about Paul Erdős? I would just like to say he left this world a better place, and without his search for the mathematical truth, everything would still be a mystery. Thank you, and I'm sorry for your loss. I'm here today with Bea Bolivus. Hello, Mr. Bolivus. Can I ask you how you met Paul Erdős? Well, Paul and I are both from Hungary, and I always admired him, even from a young age. In elementary school, we learned about Paul and his discoveries. I wanted nothing more than to leave Hungary and travel the world. Following his footsteps, I loved math. I always, I was also a part of the first three international mathematical Olympiads, in which I won two gold medals. After the competition, I received an email inviting me to lunch from Paul Eros himself. Wow, what was it like having lunch with your idol? I was very nervous going into the restaurant, but once we started talking, I couldn't stop. I remember Paul knew all about me and I was elated. I couldn't wait to learn from him. You have published numerous books and articles about math, and one was with Paul. Can you explain upon your experience? My very first publication was with Paul. He was amazing to work with. The publication was on extremal problems in graph theory. I wrote that while I was still in high school. Paul taught me how to explain my thoughts in a way others could understand too. I hear that he was quite the odd goal. What was it? What was it that made him so strange? Well, you see, he's hilarious, but what got me was his nicknames for everyone and everything. He called children epilosin, women were bosses, men were slaves, alcohol drinks he called poison, all music except for classical music was noise, and people who had married were captured, and people who were divor di divorced were liberated. And there were so many more, they were all so funny. Wow, thanks for this great information. Back to Joni and Nia. Thank you, Shelby, for getting those two great interviews from Paul's best friends. Now let's take a look at Mr. Paul Eros for the last time. 